All right, so here he is, the heavyweight hopeful, Alexi Olenek. And don't let the aesthetic fool you, DC. This is a very dangerous man, not just with the submissions, also packs some pop in his hands. Yes, he packs pop in his hands, but it all boils back to that combat sambo background. Yeah. World combat sambo champion, but he uses that sambo to get you to the mat and wrap you within his web, his web of tricks. You get caught with Ezekiel chokes and all kinds of other submissions. If you are on the ground for an extended period of time with Alexi Olenek, you are in, under constant arrest. You are constantly in danger. And history is going to look back fondly at this body of work. He will probably retire with north of 60 professional MMA wins. We'll see if he can get the job done here today. All right, so here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas. Knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 31, the Russian is 43. He weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have an eight inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 60 wins, 17 losses, and one draw. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, presenting the challenger, Alexei the Boa Constrictor Alinea. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. The Dragon League! If you give me your instruction in the dressing room, protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, just make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so the fight is now underway on one side here. The fighter who does everything well, taking on a true grappler on the other side. It's going to be interesting to see how long he can keep it up with. I mean, Damian Maya may be the most specialist type of grappler in the UFC. This guy resembles him in a number of ways. Let's see how he manages this fight against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Straight right hand now, just misses. Big kick land. Oh, slips and rips. How about that for execution? Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Oh, beautiful counter jab upstairs. 
cares for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and that certainly helped him in that exchange. Look at him the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. The uppercut flails and misses. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of locking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time, this guy's making sure enough to land. Spinning back fist. Lee gets touched by that kick right to the body there. Nicely done by the opponent. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Don't give up. He is all about that left kick to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Just unable to quite find that range. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, you man. You gotta check these kicks or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. <laughs> oh, Lennox gets caught with that punch. Ooh, head kick lands and he's hurt. Oh, Lennox hook shot is blocked. Saw that coming from a mile away. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Big leg kick land. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, really using his reach advantage as he landed the jab there. Missed with that attempt. Oh, a little single collar tie there. There. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding, and you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent starting to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, big head kick there! Oh, straight right! Oh, how about that? He lands a huge kick! Final seconds of round one. Liver kick. Round two straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. All right, so a huge five minutes turned in by him there. Good work with those leg kicks, man. Real good job with the leg kicks. Just really driving his shin into his opponent's thigh. He did a great job of finding an opening and taking full advantage of it. All right, next round is underway. He really did a nice job defensively in the previous round. You're not always winning with defense in MMA, but the crowd was ooing and eyeing as he moved that head off the center I mean, line. it was defensive, really. Yeah. I mean, just the ability to move, to roll his shoulders, to get his hands up and block his head as his opponent was trying to attack him was a sight to behold. It was a thing of beauty to watch a guy with such a vast understanding of defensive fighting. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. He's in a world of trouble now. They say the straight moves are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the target. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? Watch knees to the body. Olenek's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, I love the jab. I know you love the jab. That was a nice one. It's my favorite punch in all the fighting. I mean, he's cutting down the side. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Strong kick to the outside of that lead leg for him there. You do not want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. He does not wind up on that kick, but he somehow is managing slamming so much for him. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one to give one. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him working and trying to shut the liver down. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Big kick lands. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, straight right. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Olenek gets stung by that leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie. Checks the leg kick. Beautiful counter punch, really settling in when it comes to his counter attack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Leg kick. Olenek's lower jaw, very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down your opponent. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you gotta like the output on display here. And that's the end of round number two. We now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round.
All right, here we go, DC. Our next round is underway, and he's chasing some punch stat records tonight. That was some serious volume and efficiency in the previous round. Normally, you see that in boxing, where a guy just throws so many strikes. But this man has taken it to the octagon, looking to break all the punch records before the night is over. Punch over the top. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Olenek gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Can't take many of those, you better check. And he caught the kick. Kick to the body by Lee. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. That punch, no good. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. Caught the kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Big leg kick lands. Some nice back and forth action here. Nice sneaky head kick. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Caught that kick there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Just missed with the left there. Big head kick lands. Nice. Way to hide that leg kick. Just out of range with that kick attempt. Quick leg kick. Oh, he stunned him with that knee to the head. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice punch there. Powerful leg kick lands. Now connects with a right. Oh, Lennox head kick attempt. That one is blocked. Right at the elbow. Of the body. They continue to exchange. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Good punch. Lands a switch knee. Oh, these are some devastating knees, as we might say in Boston, some wicked, effective <laughs> knees. I love when you talk like that. I know. I think it's so, so good. <laughs> but there's a guy, I love the way you talk, but I love the way this guy fights. He's throwing those knees in order to shut the lights off of this opponent. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Here. Lee's kick is blocked. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, good opportunity to do damage here. He's got that tie clinch. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh, Lennon gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Going orthodox now. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Missed with that right hand. Blocks the shot. 15 seconds remain in the round. And he landed the right hand there. 
He is going after that overhand right. Oh, Let's now check out some of the action, DC. What a display of leg kicks in that last round. He did a good job of identifying his approach in that round. He knew the leg kick would be open, and he took full advantage of it. All right, here we go, fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart, we'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the octagon. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh, here's a kick to the body, blocked though by Olenek. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Big head kick lands. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. What a punch. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective tonight. You gotta be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding a target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Lee. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful strike. Under three minutes remain in round four. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He's just trying to throw those kicks, even though he's... Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. He'll finish his fight. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Stop throwing it. Good stick. Can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Lance with a right hand. Oh, look like he might have been. What a beautiful uppercut! It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Liver kick. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Out of range with that kick attempt. It's such a fast leg kick. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Lee's in her thigh, a deep shade of purple at this point. Ooh, big shot, man. Forty-five seconds remain in the round. 
All right, so he lands a jab there. Pretty nicely done, DC. You can really control a fight just knowing how to fight behind your jab. Head kick. Oh! Huge right hand! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Twenty seconds left. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Nice loop and punch. Nice body shot there. He blocks the punch. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. What a body kick. Punch is blocked. Well, not much set up behind it. The right hook misses. Nice leg kick. Nice kicks there by Lee. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Well placed knee to the body. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Head kick lands. Oh, uppercut to the head, DC. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. His opponent was doing a great job of seeing the punches coming straight at him, so he changed the angle and came up through the middle with it. Ooh, what a punch. Straight right is there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Hook shot gets blocked. The defense saw that one coming. Under three minutes now to go round five. Ooh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get out of this potentially dangerous position? You got to start digging your shoulder to a side and then trying to shove an underhook. You cannot bend down to try to get out of Muay Thai clinch. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Straight punch lands. Two minutes now to go in this one. Nice. Sneaky head kick. Oh, Lena gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big body kick lands. Standing 
placement as he lands the knee to the body. Again, the taller fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Beautiful leg kick thrown. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down that fist. Now look at him jumping in to try to get the finish. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Close guard. Recovery, man, right back to his feet. Nice punch there by Lee. He closes the distance, yet. and they separate. Oh! He's out! Wow! Well, and that's the type of aggressiveness and execution that is going to endear you to UFC President Dana White, to the matchmakers. Make sure you keep it out of the judges' hands, and that's exactly what he did here tonight. A huge shot landed clean. Clearly, his opponent was hurt very badly, and ultimately, the finish came right then and there. Outstanding execution down the stretch tonight. So the celebration is on for the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the baddest man on the planet, and your winner, yes, by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 4 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout and still. So we hear and still tonight, our UFC heavyweight champion came in with a lot of pressure, a lot of height, and he successfully defends the title here tonight. With all that pressure, he never changes his approach. He always does exactly what he says he's going to do, and he remains the champion in the UFC's biggest and most dangerous division.